it's never too late to start doing mission work. Floss Krieger has been on 11 mission trips to Africa, and all of them have been since her retirement. She's 90 years old, but she doesn't use that as an excuse. She feels that God has empowered her and given her a new passion. What inspired you, Floss, to get into mission work after your retirement? Well, our conference, which was the Wyoming Conference, uh, was uh, in partnership with the Zimbabwe Conference. And our uh, council director decided that a group of us should go and we should uh, share our skills in Zimbabwe. And so 26 of us went in 92 and shared our skills. We had a doctor, a dentist, we had nurses, we had agriculturists, we had pastors, we had Christian educators, and we spread out over the country to share our skills with the people. And what was your specific calling in this mission? Uh, I worked with the people helping them with their Sunday schools. I heard that um, you've gone even to the university level to talk with them and help to develop Sunday school curriculum. Can you tell us more about um, how you worked with them and developed something that would be fitting for their culture? Our curriculum will not work for them, and I knew that they needed their own curriculum. So I was invited to uh, work with the seminary students at United Theological College in writing curriculum. And in 2000 and 2001, we wrote three years of curriculum for children, youth, and adults, and two sets of Vacation Bible School. How did those then get distributed throughout the country? Uh, Wyman Conference provided a copying machine, and we made the materials available to anybody who wanted to use them. And they're being used now in the Maconi Barrera district. Wow. And what do you think was the most impacting part of your mission work? That probably was the most impacting because it covered more people uh, than uh, I had been able to cover before then. All right. And did you have to have... Um, interpreters while you were there, or did they speak English? They start learning English at first grade. In my first years, I had interpreters, but from then on, I never had to have an interpreter. Do you plan on returning to Africa to do more mission work? Next April, I plan. I hope some people will go with me. Have you gone by yourself before, or do you always go with a group? No, various times I went by myself. There was nobody else to go with me, so I went alone. All right. Well, I thank you for following your heart and for following your calling. As you said, that God will empower you no matter who you are. He will provide you with the skills and the abilities to go where he has called you. So thank you so much. Floss is actively looking for more volunteers to join her on her trip. So if you would like to learn more information, you may contact her and check out my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com. <laughs>